Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my nursing channel. This video is going to be about how to assess the apical pulse. You can palpate it on some patients, but we are going to be using a stethoscope. My name is Nurse Master Charlie, and on my channel, I talk about all things nursing. So if you want to know more about nursing related topics, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and then also hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I make new videos. So let's get right to the video. So what is a pulse? By definition, a pulse is the regular expansion or dilation of an artery caused by the ejection of blood into the arterial system by the contractions of the heart and your pulse is the rate at which your heart beats. Now to assess a pulse, you will need your fingertips to feel or palpate the pulse. You will need a watch to time the pulse. So you're gonna be counting the beats per minute in a pulse rate. So when you assess a patient, you wanna assess whatever system you're assessing systematically. So for pulses, we're gonna assess from head to toe or head to foot. When we assess a pulse, we wanna assess bilaterally for symmetry. The only ones we will not assess bilaterally or at the same time will be our carotid pulses and the apical pulse because there's only one site we're gonna to listen to. Okay, when we assess a pulse, we wanna assess for a couple of things. We wanna assess for the rhythm and the rate. Well, pulses can be described as regular, irregular, regularly irregular, or irregularly irregular. And normally you wanna count for one minute. You can count for 30 seconds and multiply it by two. However, there are some instances when you do wanna check it for one minute when you're gonna give a cardiac medication. And if you're not familiar with the patient, also maybe check it for 60 seconds. Now you wanna assess the strength of a pulse. Now pulses can be described as zero, indicating no palpable pulse, one plus indicating a faint pulse, two plus suggesting a slightly more diminished pulse than normal, three plus it's a normal pulse, and four plus indicating a bounding pulse. So before you see your patient, make sure that you perform hand hygiene. And since you are going to be touching your patient, you want to let them know what you're going to be doing and then ask them if that's okay. Don't forget to watch my other videos that show other pulse points. To assess the apical pulse, we will need to find the clavicle the sternal or jugular notch and palpate down to about the angle of the sternum about the second intercostal space we'll then count down to the fifth intercostal space of course on the left side of the chest we are palpating in between the ribs the intercostal space down to the fifth intercostal space and we are looking for the apex of the heart that's the point of maximal impulse now we will place our stethoscope on the mid clavicular line that's midway through the clavicle down to the apex of the heart apply our stethoscope and listen for 60 seconds so i'd like to thank you for your time thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and then click on the notification bell so you can be made aware when i release new videos so and until the next video god bless thank you and goodbye